got some time to kill here. But this morning I uh, was uh, headed out to the bus because I have my monthly autism airport rehearsal tours. And as I was walking out, I've noticed that these raindrops are big and splashy today. Um. So I've got a few minutes to spare, and as you can see, I'm standing at the gas station under the shelter, right in front of the bus stop, because I have 10 minutes before the bus actually arrives. But. Uh, I wanted to share a story with you and it's related to autism and Asperger's and granted this is Autism Awareness Month while some people consider this Autism Acceptance Month I'm going to have to share with you in another video tomorrow about all the exciting things that are going on because this is Autism Awareness Month or Autism Acceptance Month but first and foremost I uh, wanted to share a story with you and this video is going to be really short and sweet so when I was about 10 years old or 10-ish, yes, uh, those of you that are joining for the first time, I have an eidetic memory, which means that I can remember things as young as uh, a year and a half to two years old. And I wanted to talk to you guys about routines, and I also wanted to let you know that back when I was about 10-ish, my mom sent me to a daycare or a summer program for uh, older kids that were 10, 11, and 12. And what they were doing is they were trying to encourage these kids to become teenagers. So they pretty much steered us away from like the little kids, like the six, years, six year olds and the eight year olds because most of these kids were getting ready to go off to middle school or junior high. So in, there was no more talk of The Little Mermaid, which was my favorite. There was no more talk of Beauty and the Beast, which was the movie of the year. Uh, I was uh, stunned by that. There was no t more talk of the Ameri an American tale, Five of Goals West. Instead, the attitude was, we watched those a long time ago. So I really felt out of place because I, here I was a fan of animation and I was in a program with uh, kids that were trying to be teenagers and trying to call Little Mermaid dumb and babyish. And so they called me babyish. But back then, uh, there were, on the last day of uh, my being in the program, I, I remember being uh, stuck on a routine where, sorry, interruptions of the noise, but I remember being stuck on a routine where um, I had to go have a snack at three o'clock because that was on the schedule. So I told the teachers and the other students, excuse me, it's three o'clock. And they kept giving me the, so who cares type of an attitude. And yet me, it was so critical because I was so rigid. And finally, I noticed that there was a group of the boys who uh, picked on me that I didn't really get along with because uh, they figured out that I was different. But I saw them taking off and going to the snack room and me, I wanted some Gardettos because uh, they offered those for snacks or they had other options. So when I went into the room to get the Gardettos, I sat down and I ate. The next thing you know, uh, I found out that uh, the boys weren't supposed to, uh, sorry. they weren't supposed to be going into the snack room. They weren't supposed to be in the hallway. I wasn't supposed to be there. But of course, me, I yep, had to uh, go there because it was part of my routine. Three o'clock was snack time. That's the way my brain processed the information. So, but anyway, uh, what I'm doing is I'm shooting a vlog with you. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to uh, share my vlogs with your uh, autism support, your autistic, autism, whatever you prefer to call it, your support groups. Also be sure to share these with your, uh, your friends and your family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who's on the spectrum. Also be sure to check out my written blogs on wordpress.com. And these are, um, 
their scholarly and practical application. And finally, please be sure to click up here in the upper right hand corner. This is one of my favorite TED Talks. Uh, this is Rosie King. So please be sure to check her up right here. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off.